Let's get right into it. Number 18. The Impossible Star. Imagine walking into your kitchen to find an ice cube sitting comfortably inside a preheated oven, refusing to melt out of spite. That's essentially the vibe of Methuselah's star, or HD 140283. For a while, astronomers looked at this hunk of gas and realized their math suggested it was 14 and a half billion years old. The problem? The universe itself is only about 13.8 billion years old. Your brain is currently trying to do the math, and yes, it's like finding out your dad is younger than you are. Scientists had to frantically recalibrate their entire understanding of stellar physics just to make the universe's ID card valid again. It turns out the star isn't actually older than time itself, it's just a cosmic overachiever that's incredibly low on heavy metals, making it look like a grumpy old man who lived through the Big Bang's construction phase. Basically, the universe isn't breaking the laws of physics, it's just really good at gaslighting us. Number 17. The Oh My God Particle In 1991, a cosmic ray hit the atmosphere over Utah with so much energy that physicists basically dropped their clipboards and named it the Oh My God Particle. Physics says a single subatomic particle shouldn't have that much kick. It was traveling at over 99.9999999999% the speed of light. To put that in perspective, if you were a proton moving that fast, you could race a beam of light for a year and only lose by the width of a human hair. This tiny speck of nothing had the kinetic energy of a professional pitcher's fastball packed into a space smaller than an atom. It shouldn't be possible because the universe has a speed limit for particles traveling long distances, but this one apparently decided that laws are more like suggestions. It's like watching a toddler accidentally punch through a brick wall. It defies everything we know about how weight and power are supposed to work. Number 16. The Sound of the Sun. We are taught in grade school that, in space, no one can hear you scream because sound can't travel through a vacuum. Well, the sun didn't get the memo. Our star is essentially a giant, screaming ball of nuclear fusion, and it creates massive acoustic waves. If sound could travel through the vacuum of space, the sun would be a constant, 100 decibel roar roughly the volume of a chainsaw held directly against your ear every second of every day. It shouldn't exist as a sound because space is empty, but the sun's vibrations are so powerful that they actually warp its own surface like a giant, liquid bell. We are only safe because about 150 million kilometers of silence act like the world's best pair of noise-canceling headphones. Number 15. The Rain of Glass If you think a rainy Tuesday is depressing, be glad you don't live on HD 189733B. This planet is a lovely shade of deep blue, looking like a peaceful ocean world from a distance. But that blue isn't water. It's the reflection of silicate particles in the atmosphere. The planet is so hot that it literally rains molten glass sideways. Because the winds reach nearly 8,700 kilometers per hour, the glass rain doesn't fall. It blasts sideways at around seven times the speed of sound. It shouldn't exist because it's a meteorological nightmare that defies the basic concept of weather. It's less of a planet and more of a giant, high-speed blender filled with shards of broken windows. Number 14. The planet that's too big. Meet LHS 3154b, a planet that is basically the cosmic equivalent of a toddler being born the size of a professional linebacker. According to our current How to Build a Solar System manual, this planet shouldn't exist because its host star is a tiny, cool M-dwarf. It's like trying to grow a giant pumpkin out of a thimble-sized pot of soil. There simply shouldn't have been enough dust and gas in the disk around that dinky star to form a world that massive. Scientists are currently staring at it and scratching their heads, wondering if the universe is just making up the rules as it goes along. It's a gravitational middle finger to every computer model we've ever built. Number 13. The Magnetar's Glitch Imagine a star that is so dense, a teaspoon of it weighs as much as a mountain, and it has a magnetic field so strong it would wipe your credit cards from the moon. That's a magnetar. Occasionally, these things undergo a starquake, which is like an earthquake but involves the star's crust cracking under the pressure of its own magnetic field. When this happens, they emit more energy in a fraction of a second than the sun does in 100,000 years. It shouldn't exist because the sheer physics involved matter being squeezed so hard it becomes a superfluid is basically science fiction. 
Your blender struggling with a frozen strawberry is a joke compared to a star that can literally tear the atoms of your body apart from a thousand miles away just by existing. Number 12. The black hole that is too old. Back in the early days of the universe, everything was supposed to be small and simple. But astronomers recently found a supermassive black hole, J0313-1806, that is 1.6 billion times the mass of the Sun, existing just 670 million years after the Big Bang. It shouldn't exist because there literally wasn't enough time for a black hole to eat that much food and grow that big. It's like seeing a five-year-old child who somehow weighs 400 pounds and has a PhD in thermodynamics. It defies the speed limit of how fast matter can collapse, suggesting that either our timeline of the universe is wrong or black holes have a fast forward button that we haven't found yet. Number 11. The Eternal Nuclear Reactor Long before humans figured out how to split the atom and make a giant mess of things, nature beat us to it in Gabon, Africa. About two billion years ago, a deposit of uranium in Oklo spontaneously started its own nuclear fission reaction. It shouldn't exist because normally, you need a bunch of scientists in lab coats and very specific conditions to keep a reactor from either fizzling out or turning into a crater. But this natural reactor sat there, chugging away for hundreds of thousands of years, self-regulating its temperature using groundwater as a coolant. It's the ultimate, I did it first from Mother Nature, proving that the Earth was running a nuclear power plant while our ancestors were still figuring out how to be multicellular. Number 10. The Loneliest Whale since 1989, researchers have been tracking a specific whale in the North Pacific. It's healthy, it migrates, and it sings. But it sings at 52 hertz, a frequency so high that no other whale species can hear or understand it. It is the 52 hertz whale, and it has been wandering the ocean for decades, calling out into an eternal silence. It's a heartbreaking scientific discovery because it highlights the frequency problem of existence. We could be surrounded by alien signals or incredible natural phenomena right now, but because we aren't tuned to the right frequency, we are effectively alone. This whale is a living metaphor for the terrifying possibility that the universe is shouting at us and we're just too deaf to hear the answer. Number 9. The Dark Oxygen Discovery We were always taught that oxygen on Earth comes from plants, sunlight, and a whole lot of green stuff. Well, in 2024, Scientists went to the bottom of the Pacific Ocean where there is absolutely zero sunlight and found oxygen being produced anyway. It turns out that lumps of metal on the seafloor, called polymetallic nodules, act like geobatteries, splitting water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen through pure electricity. This discovery broke biology's brain. It means life didn't necessarily need the sun to get started. It just needed a very energetic rock. It's terrifying because it suggests that deep-sea mining for our smartphone batteries might be accidentally suffocating an alien ecosystem we didn't even know existed until five minutes ago. Number 8. The Plastic Eating Bacteria In 2016, scientists found a bacteria at a Japanese recycling plant that had decided to stop eating organic food and started munching on PET plastic instead. On one hand, it's a miracle nature finally stepped in to clean up our mess. On the other hand, it's a terrifying discovery that evolution is currently adapting to the plastic age faster than we can track. If these microbes get too good at their jobs, they could theoretically start eating the plastic in our planes, cars, and medical equipment while we're still using them. It's a sobering reminder that while we're busy worrying about the end of the world, the microscopic world is just looking at our trash and saying, finally some delicious gourmet garbage. Number 7. The Gut-Brain Axis you probably think you're the CEO of your own body, making high-level executive decisions about what to eat and who to date. In reality, you're more like a biological mech suit being piloted by trillions of bacteria living in your intestines. Science recently discovered that your gut microbiome actually sends signals to your brain that influence your mood, your cravings, and even your personality. If you're feeling depressed, it might not be a quarter-life crisis, it might just be that the bacteria in your colon are having a bad Tuesday and want more fiber. We used to think we were the pinnacle of evolution, but it turns out we're just a very elaborate, walking transit system for microbes that have a terrifying amount of control over our free will. Your brain is basically a decorative hood ornament for your stomach. Number 6. The Voynich Manuscript Imagine a book written in an elegant, flowing script, 
filled with detailed illustrations of plants that don't exist and astrological diagrams that don't match our sky. For over a century, the world's best codebreakers, the same people who cracked the Enigma machine, have stared at the Voynich manuscript and come up with absolutely nothing. It's not a prank. The ink and vellum are from the 15th century. It's a terrifying discovery because it represents a knowledge dead end. Either a brilliant mind created a language and a world that is now completely lost to time, or someone was so dedicated to a bit that they spent years writing a 240-page nonsense book just to confuse us. It's a reminder that human history is full of black holes where information goes to die. Number 5. Toxoplasmosis Mind Control If you own a cat, you've probably joked that your feline friend is the true master of the house. Science has some bad news for you. It might not be a joke. Toxoplasma gondii is a parasite that can only sexually reproduce inside a cat's gut. To get there, it infects mice and literally rewires their brains to lose their fear of cats, even making the smell of cat urine attractive to them. But here's the kicker. Humans get it too. Roughly one-third of the global population has these cysts sitting in their brains right now. Studies suggest infected humans might have slightly altered personalities, slower reaction times, or a higher risk of car accidents. It changed science by showing us that our unique human behaviors might just be the side effects of a microscopic parasite trying to find its way into a litter box. Number 4. The Great Oxidation Event Imagine you're a peaceful, single-celled organism minding your own business in the primeval soup. Life is great, the atmosphere is a cozy mix of methane and carbon dioxide, and nobody has ever heard of a lung. Then, some overachieving cyanobacteria decide to invent photosynthesis. They start farting out oxygen like it's a revolutionary new lifestyle brand. To us, oxygen is the stuff of life. To literally everything alive 2.4 billion years ago, it was a corrosive, toxic nightmare. This was the Earth's first and most effective chemical warfare campaign. It wiped out nearly all life on the planet because they couldn't handle the fresh air. Your ancestors only survived because they learned to tolerate the very poison that murdered their neighbors. Essentially, you exist today because your great-to-the-millionth power grandparents were the only ones who could survive living inside a giant, planetary bleach bottle. Number 3. Prions You've heard of viruses and bacteria, living things with DNA and an agenda. Now, meet the prion, a protein that forgot how to fold itself and decided to make it everyone else's problem. A prion isn't alive. You can't kill it with heat, radiation, or even standard sterilization. It's just a tiny, misshapen origami project that, upon touching a healthy protein in your brain, convinces that protein to also fold incorrectly. It's a zombie movie at the molecular level. Your brain slowly turns into a sponge while your immune system stands around like a confused security guard because it doesn't recognize a protein as an intruder. Discovering prions changed science by proving that a piece of dead matter can act like an infectious predator. It's proof that the universe doesn't need a complex plan to end you. It just needs one tiny stubborn typo in your biological code. Number 2. The Botez Void Space is supposed to be empty. But the Botez Void takes social distancing to a cosmic, terrifying extreme. Imagine driving across the United States and seeing absolutely nothing, no gas stations, no trees, no tumbleweeds, just a flat, gray void for 3,000 miles. That's this place. It's a spherical region of nothingness so vast that if the Milky Way were in the middle of it, we wouldn't have known other galaxies existed until the 1960s. Astronomers expected to find thousands of galaxies there, they found about 60. It's the ultimate keep-out sign of the universe. Some scientists theorize it's just a natural quirk of gravity, while the more paranoid among us wonder if something out there is systematically deleting neighborhoods. It turns out the universe isn't just a crowded party. It has dark, empty basements that make our entire existence look like a crowded elevator. Number 1. False Vacuum Decay Imagine the universe is a giant, lukewarm bathtub, you're sitting in the water, thinking everything is stable and fine. But then, someone pulls the plug, and a bubble of freezing cold water starts expanding from the drain at the speed of light, turning everything it touches into a different state of matter. That is false vacuum decay. Some physicists suspect our universe isn't in its most stable state, it's just mostly stable. 
If a high-energy event triggers a phase transition somewhere in the cosmos, a bubble of true vacuum could expand and incinerate the laws of physics themselves. You wouldn't even have time to say oops, because the bubble moves at light speed. You just cease to be made of atoms. It changed science by introducing the terrifying idea that reality itself might just be a temporary glitch on a much scarier cosmic scoreboard. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.